Hello and welcome to another RP tutorial video. My name is Ravi and today we are going to talk about Excel commands using automation anywhere. I will be covering basic concepts which you need to know before start working with this Excel command. For those who are new to this channel, please note I am creating videos based on RPA tools like Automation Anywhere and UI Path. So I have created a couple of videos in case if you are interested to see those videos. So you can refer to this video's description section. So there you will get the link of my all previous RPA videos. Okay. So let's start. So here I'm going to talk about the Excel automation. Okay, so let me go to the Automation Anywhere. Okay, so here we have the Excel commands. And let me search for the Excel command. Okay, so in Excel command, we have this many subcommands available. So we will talk about this, this subcommands with the example. So I'm going to show you how these commands are working. Okay, so to demonstrate in more details, I'm going to use this Excel. So in this Excel, we have this many data and I'm having two Excel sheets. Okay, in this Excel. So, all right, let me delete this. So I'm currently keeping one Excel sheet with the data. Okay, now let me go back to the automation anywhere. So if you see this command like open spreadsheet, close spreadsheet, so these commands will help you to work with the Excel. So let's see this open spreadsheet. In case if you want to open an Excel, so you have to select this command. Okay. So here you have to put the session name. Session name you can put as per your wish. So I'm putting currently as Excel POC. And from here you have to select the Excel which you want to open. So I'm selecting this Excel. Okay. So after that we have the options. In case if you want to specify the seat name, you can go ahead and write there. Okay. Or in case if you don't want to mention this, so by default once Automation Anywhere Bot will open this Excel, it will go to the active seat on okay in case if in your excel is having headers so you can go ahead and check this box so bot will understand the first row is excel and it will treat a data from the excel uh, row number two only in case if you have loadings in case you want to add loadings in your excel you can go ahead and use this command okay now coming to the advanced view in advanced view we have two options available spreadsheet password and open read only recommended spreadsheet so these things like you know in case if your excel is password protected so you can go ahead and post this put this password okay so here you can either pass a variable okay or we can you can write the password here manually as well okay so i'm going back to the normal view okay so let me save this code so after saving this code okay i think we have to remove this okay coming here let me save this once i run this code it will open the excel okay so we are good here now going back to the the next sub command which is get cells okay so okay once we go to the get cells in get cells we have three sub commands one is get single cell get multiple sale and get all sales let's say if you want to read a single sale so here we have two options active sale or, or specific sale okay in case if you want to read the active sale it will read the value for the active sale or if you want to go to specific sale so let's say i want to read a value for d2 okay so what i have to do i have to write down the sale name here d2 okay let's see i am assigning this value to prompt assignment variable I will search for the message box. I will drag and drop here message box and I will select the prompt assignment. So once I run this code, it will show me the value from the cell D2. Okay, all right. So this is the value from the D2. Now let me go to the another command. Okay, let me open this so you can see here get multiple cells so in case if you want to read a multiple cell for example you want to read value from here to here okay from a2 to uh, d6 okay so how we are going to read so here you have to put the 
which I'm putting A2, and here I'm putting D6. Okay, you have to remember note one one thing here. Single sale, the difference between single and multiple sale is here. You have to put the range, and the range you can only read using the Excel loop. Right here, we don't have option to assign the value to the variable. In case if you want to read the value, you have to use the loop. So I'll show you how you can use that. I'm going to save this. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the loop command. So within within loop, you will get a loop for each row in Excel data. Okay. I will change this default to Excel POC and I will save it. Okay. So here I will use a message box. I will drag this message box. And I will use the Excel column. Okay, so Excel column is a system variable which will help you to uh, get data from the Excel. Okay, so I will remove this and I will use Excel column. Okay, and there I will put the column name. So I'm putting this column name as one. So it will read the value for column one. So let's say if I want to read a multiple column, so I will change to column two. Okay, then I will run this code from the top. So you can see we are reading data. Okay, so we are good till here. Now let me go to next command. The next is uh, here get all sales so get all sales sales is like it will read all the value which is available in the excel so basically once you use this command it will uh, read all the data and it will store into the automation in your memory okay so i'm not going to show you this because it is similar to get sales only okay the next one is set cell okay let me go to the set cell so set cell will help you to write something into a excel cell okay so let's say if you want to write something in your excel so you have to use the set cell so here we have two options active cell or specific cell so i will select specific cell let's say in our excel i want to read something okay instead of jones i want to write my name ravi okay so here i will use a it's not a2 it's c2 and here here i will write ravi okay and i will save so this time i'm not going to run this loop okay i'm disabling this and i'm running this code Okay, so we can see here the name has been changed to Ravi. Okay. All right. Next is now coming to go to sale. So go to sale will help you to go to a particular sale. Okay. So let's say in the same Excel, I want to go to uh, E7. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to go ahead and write the E7. And after that, like you can see here, we have other options available. So in case if you want to go to the some sale and after that you want to go to left, right or end or end of the column or row. So that you can use these things. Okay. So these options will help you to perform that type of activity. Okay. So let me run this. So we'll see this. Okay. So we are in E7. Okay, the next is okay the run x excel macro okay another good thing about this command is in case if you have any excel macro which you want to run using automation anywhere so you can do that so in the same excel i have already created a macro okay excel macro that macro what it will do it will copy this data from this sheet and it will paste into this sheet and it will apply some filter okay so let me show you that excel macro manually how it is working so this is the macro macro name is copy paste okay so once i click on run it is copying data from the seat one and writing into the seat two so let me delete this 
Okay, and I'm saving this Excel. And I'm here, I'm writing that macro name is copy underscore paste. In case if you have any argument which you want to pass, you can go ahead and pass from this field. Okay, so I'm saving this code and I'm running from here. Okay, so it, it, it successfully, you know, micro run and you can see here we have the data available. Okay, so this is my seat one and this is my seat two. All right, so I'm going to the next sub command which is delete cells okay so in in some scenario let's say you have to delete some cell okay from your excel so how you are going to do so in our case let's say i want to delete this cell okay so this is in row number seven so let me save this so we can understand so it is in a7 so i want to delete this a7 and i want to delete the entire row okay so we have other options also like zip cell left, zip cell up, or entire column. So it's up to you what action you want to perform using this delete cell. So currently I want to delete A7 row. So let me select this and run this code. Okay, so that uh, uh, row number seven got deleted. Now I'm going to the automation anywhere, another command, which is active activate seat so basically this activate seat will help you to change seat from one seat to another seat so let's say in the in the uh, like you know real time scenario you are working in excel where you have 10 different seats and based from your requirement you have to switch to seat different seats okay so that time you can use this activate seat so let's see how this will work you can use either index okay in case if you want to put the index like one two it will work like that okay or you can put the Seat, seat name also so currently i'm putting the seat as two okay so here we are currently in seat one and i'm saving this excel so my bot once i run this it will go to the seat two okay so we are in seat two Okay, the save spreadsheet will help you to save the code in case in, in between like let's say your bot is running and you want to make some after making some changes you want to save your uh, spreadsheet so you can click on you can select this command so which will help you to save your spreadsheet now coming to the last option which is find and replace so this option will help you to find and replace so in case if you want to find some word and replace with something so this command will help you to do that. So let's say I want to find this Ravi and I want to replace with John. Okay, so I have to find this Ravi. Okay, so it will find by the rows. Okay, I'm selecting the match case and replace with the John. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, you can see here it replaced with the Ravi. And now coming to the last command, which is close spreadsheet. So let's say I want to close this spreadsheet. So, okay, so let me disable this. I don't want to put anything because name is already changed. So I will run this command. So it will open and it will close the Excel sheet. Note one thing here is this close spreadsheet will by default save the Excel sheet. Okay, once it will close, it will save the required. Um, I mean, after making the changes, let's say once you use this close spreadsheet, by default it will save the changes and close the spreadsheet. So, in case if you don't want to save the changes, so you can select this box, so which will not allow automation in your bot to save the the particular sheet. So I hope you find this video helpful and able to understand about the Excel command. If you are looking for any RPA related training or something like project supports, you can go ahead and contact us in this mail ID with rpa.developers1 at gmail.com. 
or in case if you have any questions any suggestions you can go ahead and post in a comment section so i would be happy to answer your questions and don't forget to subscribe this channel to get more rpa related videos so thank you so much for your time guys thank you